In this video we will show how to replace an 8 pin EEPROM chip. This EEPROM is used in many different component repair kits to fix many different symptoms. Your board may look different than ours and your EEPROM may be in a different location than what we are showing on this board. Once again this is a general video showing the soldering process of how to replace this EEPROM. I will start by applying some solder to the one side of the chip. This will help to loosen the existing solder holding the chip to the board. I'm kind of struggling to loosen this side so I will add some solder to the other side as well and start loosening it. I will run the iron back and forth over the legs to heat up the solder and loosen the chip from the board. This side has now come loose and I will start loosening the other side again. I will use my desolder gun to remove the majority of the solder that is left on the pads. After I have removed the chip, I will use the solder wick and my iron to clean up the pads on the board. Next I will use my brush and isopropyl alcohol to clean up the pads as well. After I clean up the pads, I can get my chip positioned. Be sure to match the circle on the chip with the circle on the board. I will use my tweezers to hold the chip to the board, and then I will apply some flux to the legs of the chip, and then add some solder to my iron, and run my iron over the legs of the chip to secure it to the board. Then I can rotate the board and do the same process for securing this side of the chip to the board. During the soldering process, you may get a solder bridge joining two of the legs on the component. This is not good and should be fixed. I have a solder bridge here and will use my solder wick to remove the excess solder and then re-solder the legs again. I can clean up the replacement component with my brush and isopropyl alcohol. And there you have it, we have replaced this EEPROM chip.